I've been researching natural estrogen sources for about two years now and ever since I started having menopausal symptoms. I am 51 now and I suffer from symptoms like hot flushes at night. I don't sleep very well. Um, I have mood swings and also sort of a lack of mental clarity. That causes me great anxiety. It makes me feel my life is really stressful. So. I did a ton of research and it always seems to come down to estrogen and the fact that our ovaries stop producing it regularly when we are around 48 to 50 years old. I think I had a lot of very superficial ideas about the menopause, like I knew about hot flushes and also I was kind of like, hooray, no more periods, it's going to be so great. I mean, literally, I was looking forward to that. I want to share with you my sources of estrogen and my journey of how I got into managing my, my menopausal symptoms. My journey started with my GP and in all honesty, they were not really very helpful. Initially, my GP recommended to me to use go on HRT. Now I went away, I did a ton of research because I was a little bit afraid of the side, side effects that I've heard HRT has. And by the time I went to my GP, I really felt I needed it and I wanted it in order to have a better life. My GP refused to give it to me because I had breast cancer before. HRT slightly raises the risk of cancer. I was completely deflated and I had to start all over again. And this time I was looking for natural sources of estrogen that would help me. I did not start looking into the biological aspect of this until I already started having symptoms. So if you are a younger woman, maybe you're 40 or even younger than that, please inform yourself already at your age and be ready so that when you get older and your body starts changing, you know what's happening and you can be in control of that and you know what your options are rather than already being in the symptoms, kind of scrabbling around, which is what I've been doing and to find something that will help. So I really wanted to share what I'm doing or I found when you're not doing HRT or if HRT is not something for you, but I wanted to make a disclaimer. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. This is just my personal um, experience. Now, if you type into Google natural, na bleh, if you type into Google natural estrogen sources or natural replacement for HRT, you'll find that the same things always come up. Black cohosh, red clover, raspberry leaf, chasteberry, Primrose oil, sometimes St. John's wort, soy, flaxseed. Let me tell you what I do on a daily basis. I include two sources of black cohosh. That seems to me the most powerful natural herb out there that has uh, some kind of effect on our menopause. And I have created a specially formulated estrogen rich tea, herbal tea that I drink three times a day. I'm going to tell you about these two things. So my first form of black hohosh, I decided between three different kinds of pills that are available out there. I would say that the leaders are Amberin, Estrovin and Remifemin. Amberin and Estrovin, I'm going to show you here what their ingredients are. These are both American uh, companies. Estrovin is black hohosh and uh, soy riboflavin mixture and Remy Femin, which is German, is a mainly black cohosh ingredient. Now I have decided on Remy Femin and I have ordered it from Germany and I've been taking it um, for about 30 days. One of the reasons is that the German uh, regulations are very strict and they're regulating the black cohosh quality, the ingredients of that in a more stringent way than the American companies have to. And also just looking at all the feedback, I've just spent really long time looking at reviews on different sources, both in English uh, and in German, because I speak German, and I decided that Remy Femin would be the one for me. So I take Remy Femin twice a day, they're small little pills. Now the other thing that I do, I have the black cohosh extract. I bought this from my local um, health food shop. It costs £8.99. This is concentrated black cohosh and here it says, very interesting, 28 drops contains 190 milligrams of black cohosh. So what I do is, I, um, besides taking Remifemin twice a day, I also um, take three to four drops of this black cohosh inside of a um, tea. Often a fresh peppermint tea at the moment. I really like that because the peppermint has got a strong taste that kind of 
hides or clouds the black cohosh, which is really, really bitter and kind of disgusting. Um, but three drops of that would be 23 milligrams. So altogether, I'm taking these two forms of black cohosh. So for the first um, pack of Remy Femin, so the first 10 days, I felt absolutely no difference. Um, but now after um, 28 days or so, amazing. I can sleep throughout the night and my hot flushes have really changed from being uh, debilitatingly uncomfortable to, um, oh, I might have to take a jacket off or I have to remove my blanket. But it's more like just being hot when it's like a warm day rather than sort of this internal inferno that kind of burns you up. If you have had it, you know exactly what I mean. Second natural set of things I do is I have a herbal tea mixture that I make myself. Again, I got the ingredients all at my um, health food shop. They're all organic. Um, I use a mixture of red clover and red raspberry leaf. And then sometimes I add in a couple of other things. In fact, I've been doing an extra different video that's just about my herbal tea, okay? So then you can go if you wanna recreate that. Okay, so two sources of black cohosh. Second thing I would say, include herbal botanicals and forms of teas. Those are the things I do daily. And the third thing I would say is uh, a very specific changes to my diet. I have included more tofu in my diet because soy is supposed to be also quite estrogen rich and I did not want to take it as a supplement. I want to actually eat it. So I, I eat tofu at least twice a week. The other thing is flaxseed. I always have flaxseed in a smoothie. I have sort of like a very special menopausal estrogen smoothie that I make instead of lunch. I'm gonna make a video about that as well. So if you are interested, um, the good thing about that is that um, it gives me um, more protein rather than carbohydrate. And this is the last tip that I would have, which is really, really lower your carbohydrate intake, increase your protein intake. These are the things I do on a daily basis. So I have more estrogen in my diet and so that everything that I consume is really focused towards my body going through the menopause and towards strengthening my health. Anyway, I hope this is helpful and give me some kind of feedback and maybe we can build some kind of community because a lot of the menopausal stuff I see out there is uh, more medical, like done by doctors and things. And I wanted to do it more like um, actually women. You can hear about black cohosh and about red clover and then still feel like, oh, okay, so these are really useful, brilliant herbs that I should be taking, but how do I include them in my diet? Is it worth it or are there side effects? Because I am, have tried a lot of these things. Right, let's start a discussion here. What kind of methods have people found that make them feel more empowered over their bodies during this period of time? Um, so thank you for listening.